Welcome to this ILCOR board interview session highlighting the 2020 International Consensus on Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation and Emergency Cardiovascular Care Science with Treatment Recommendations. My name is Robert Newmar, and I am currently serving as one of the ILCOR co-chairs. Founded in 1992, the International Liaison Committee on Resuscitation, or ILCOR, is comprised of seven major resuscitation councils from around the globe. ILCOR's vision is saving more lives globally through resuscitation, and its mission is to promote, disseminate, and advocate international implementation of evidence-informed resuscitation and first aid using transparent evaluation and consensus summary of scientific data. Our 2020 Consensus on Science and Treatment Recommendations, or COSTARS, uh, will be published jointly in Circulation and Resuscitation, and they represent a synthesis of ILCOR's evidence review activity over the last five years. For this session, we have with us our other ILCOR board members, Gavin Perkins, Marette Castron, and Peter Morley, who will provide a more in-depth overview of ILCOR's structure and mission, a summary of the operational changes ILCOR has made over the last five years, and a, a discussion of how this international collaboration supports the member councils in producing their own practice guidelines. We hope the presentation that follows will be most informative and help the viewer better understand the science behind council guidelines. So thanks very much, uh, Bob, for that kind introduction. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Gavin Perkins. I'm the other co-chair of ILCOR. I'd like to now hand over to my other uh, fellow panelists, starting with Peter. Hi, my name's Peter Morley. I'm uh, the treasurer of ILCOR and chair of the Scientific Advisory Committee. I'm Marit Kastrem from Helsinki, Finland, and I'm the honorary secretary and also sitting in the BLS task force as a member. So we're just going to spend a, a few minutes talking to you um, now uh, about ILCOR. You'll, you'll recall that Bob Newmar has introduced that ILCOR's mission is to save more lives globally through resuscitation. And one of the main ways that we do that uh, is through our continuous evaluation of the scientific evidence uh, and the synthesis of that into a consensus on science and treatment recommendation that's then used by uh, resuscitation councils from around the, the world. We've got six expert task forces covering advanced life support, basic life support, pediatrics, neonatal education implementation teams uh, and first aid and they've been working really hard over the course of the, the, the last five years and particularly uh, in the last 12 months to uh, continuously update uh, the science as it relates to resuscitation. Uh, and I'm going to hand over to Peter now, who's going to provide a little bit more depth and insight into the continuous evidence evaluation process. Thank you, Peter. The important thing uh, from our point of view is that we want to provide the international community with as much information as possible uh, to allow them to develop their guidelines. And the evidence evaluation process uh, from 2016 to, th to 2020 has evolved uh, from the process that we used for 2015, which was predominantly a task force based systematic review process. In 2016, under the leadership of uh, Laurie Morrison, we were able to set up a, a continuous evidence evaluation working group and we were able to commission a large number of very sophisticated, methodologically sound systematic reviews which were performed either by knowledge synthesis units or expert systematic reviewers. And these people produced uh, for us uh, a detailed summary of the literature uh, and also a peer reviewed publication to summarize that information. These bits of information were summarized each year in the ILCOR uh, CoStar publications. So one in 2017, 2018, 2019. But to make sure we covered as much information as possible for the 2020 uh, CoStar to make sure that the international guideline producing organizations had as much of this uh, literature review as possible. We added in three additional processes. These are the task force based systematic review, the task force based scoping review, and also evidence updates. Now, many of these scoping reviews and systematic reviews performed by the task forces have also been published in the peer reviewed literature. But the end result is a fantastic uh, summary of the published information on resuscitation science and first aid. And that will be uh, released on the uh, 
the 21st of October. Thank you very much, Peter. You know, that's a, a great summary of, um, you know, the, the work that our task forces and uh, the continuous evidence evaluation and now scientific advisory committee, you know, have, have been working on so diligently over the course of the, uh, you know, the, the last few years. So, um, Marek, could you maybe talk to us a little bit about, um, you know, ILCOR's leadership role, you know, internationally in terms of, you know, I, I guess achieving our vision of saving more lives through resuscitation? The nicest thing about ILCOR and why everybody should be involved is the fact that we can globally discuss how we uh, implement uh, different guidelines, how we take in consideration uh, ethnics, uh, cultures, religions, uh, how low-income countries can be helped by, by those that have more resources. And, and I love the fact that we have a lot of young uh, members from all over the world actually getting into this world of, of saving lives uh, as part of a gang of old uh, dinosaurs still uh, hanging on. Uh, and I just love our meetings. It's, it's a wonderful way of getting international knowledge uh, and get it through the whole world. Thank you, Marat. And, and thank you to everybody that's um, tuned in to listen to these, these short videos. I, Hope this has provided you an overview um, of ILCOR's mission to save more lives globally through resuscitation. Uh, and I hope you um, enjoy listening to uh, our task force chairs and our task force members talking about some of the science that's informed their treatment recommendation across the series of videos that uh, follow. Uh, thank you for your time and attention. Mm -hmm.